Hey, good morning to you, and welcome to another edition of ClinCheck Theater Thursday. I am your host, Dr. David Galler. Last week, we were looking at a situation where we noticed that there were some herky-jerky movements on these premolars. The premolars don't really accomplish anything, and this movement doesn't really help anyone anywhere. The only reason why the computer automatically did these movements was to try and align the first and second premolars a little bit better. But that's not part of my chief complaint. That doesn't really help me. What I don't like is my end stage occlusion on the first premolars. I like it better before treatment. And I don't like this little kind of contractual movement on that second premolar. I think it's just going to lead me to a interference, which will lead to a posterior open bite. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove those movements. You go into modify. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on all these teeth and make them unmovable. Unmovable, 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 unmovable. That will take away those movements. Once I have that, I'm going to hit the button called Live Update. And the system is going to update the ClinCheck to the new version. In the past, this was something you would need to have sent to the Invisalign technician and describe to them how you didn't want these kind of herky-jerky movements that didn't really make sense in the overall occlusal scheme and in the overall treatment plan. Nowadays, through the advent of live update, we can now make these changes in real time. Again, those movements on the premolars didn't really accomplish anything for me in the case, and there's no reason to move them in the Invisalign case. All we had to do was hit modify, then hit the button for tooth, click. I was right clicking on those teeth, making them unmovable, and the movement that they had inherent in them will disappear. The ClinCheck will be simplified without those movements in there. And let's see if those premolars now retain their excellent initial position and spot. Usually takes about 90 seconds or so. And now let's take a look. The treatment plan has been updated. And now those teeth stay as is. They remained in their nice occlusion and the case proceeds as is. Okay. If you wanted to compare it to the original one and you could see same amount of aligners, but in the original case, the end stage occlusion on those first bicuspids was not to my liking. And now that end stage occlusion is clear. This is part two of intra-arch alignment versus inter-arch occlusion and a demonstration of live update. Thank you very much. This has been ClinCheck Theater Thursday, and I am your host, Dr. David Gallagher.